Hey, what's going on everybody? Alex with you here. And today I wanted to show you guys a couple of different chessboards. Um, this is the vinyl chessboard that I showed you guys recently in one of my videos about the tournament um, chess combination with the chess bag recently. This is the blue board that came with, with that particular set. Now, here in comparison, this board I've had for probably, uh, let's say, more than 10 years now. I bought it online because I wanted to upgrade from something like this to something a little bit better. And by something a little bit better, I, I really was looking for different choices, things to kind of choose from. And I found that a lot of people were saying that the mouse pad variety of the chess bed, the one that's a little bit thicker like this, a mouse pad variety is going to be a lot better overall um, for a number of reasons. Uh, being that this is over 10 years old and I've, I did take quite good care of it over the 10 year period, especially during the time when I, when I actually went out and played um, tournaments with it. However, now that I have two little kids, what I do is a lot of times I just put this out because I'm, I'm not playing in tournaments anymore and I, I put this out on the table just for the kids to kind of get exposure to what is this, daddy, what is this? Uh, you know, this is a chessboard. Oh, okay. So it, as long as it kind of lays around, they're kind of getting that idea of like, hey, we've always had a chessboard when we were little, you know, maybe that will kind of give them a little bit of an incentive due to the familiarity of it to end up, you know, taking up chess when they're older. So, uh, well, with that being said, they, they take uh, all kinds of stuff, chocolate markers, crayons to it. So now it's just, it's this and it's, it's pretty, it's pretty trashy now, trashy looking. I mean, it's still very functional. It does. I'm going to show it a little bit closer, but... It doesn't have any any like scratch marks or anything on it, but it does have considerable amount of dirt on it at this time. So overall, comparing the mouse style chessboard to one of these vinyl, as you can see, substantially thicker board because you have all that rubber, you have all that rubber underneath. But even though you have all that rubber, when you press down on the chessboard, you don't have really that much of a substantial like bounciness to it. But when I was reviewing the uh, the one with the with the rubberized uh, board, uh, it did have a lot more bounce to it, even the, though the board was like really thin like this. But I felt like this this mount, mouse pad style was a lot better overall to play. It just felt like more comfortable to play. And when you're going on any of these tournaments, a lot of these scholastic tournaments, they play on, on um, plastic tables. And a lot of times the when you go in there to play, everything's kind of like cold and you're playing in some kind of a gym or something. So the tables are cold, the pieces are cold. And you take out this, this type of a board, like a really thin one, and everything's cold and, the, and everything just kind of feels... Ugh. Whereas this, this almost feels just better. Overall, it just kind of feels like I don't know. It's it's a, it's a, it's a mind thing. I, it, to me, this type of board always felt nicer to play on and just more comfortable, more like at home type of environment. I don't know. I'm sure there's people out there that can agree with me on that. But um, you have this rubber underneath, kind of makes it a let less likely to crinkle, and that's one of the things you notice is both of these boards can be rolled up. When you roll up this board, it'll roll up thicker than this board. But that doesn't mean that you cannot fit a mouse pad style board in one of, one of the like tournament bags. You can still do that. It's just going to be a little bit thicker. But the nice thing about the mouse pad board is that no matter how you crinkle it, no matter what you do with it, when you roll it out on the table and when you place it on the table, for the most part, everything's ready to go. There's no, this little spot right here, I, I feel like it just kind of has a little bit of a, but it doesn't bother me. But there's no creases on it, and that's the nice thing. Over time, these vinyl boards, uh, the more that you roll them up, the more they'll deform. They're a lot quicker to, to age, uh, especially if you expose your set to different uh, weather conditions and different temperatures. I feel like this, this type of board is going gonna, is gonna to dry out sooner than, than this. Because this here feels to me like this is kind of painted. Whereas this is not painted. This is part of the fabric. And um, I feel like over time, no matter how long you have this, and I've had this for over 10 years, it's just going to feel a lot better overall, you know, going out and playing. Both boards are almost the same 
size, but the mouse pad one's just a little bit thicker, and I'm not really sure, like it's a little bit bigger. I'm not really sure if the squares, I think the squares, the squares are about the same size as they should be, because this is supposed to be like a, let's see, this is supposed to be a 2.2, but I actually no. So these squares just a little bit smaller than, yeah, they are. So these these squares are a little bit bigger than than this. But either way, like I said, I've always enjoyed playing on this board. It's just overall um, so much nicer to be able to play on a mouse pad board. Um, but, but here's the thing. So the other day I looked up because I, I took this out of my garage and I was like, I'm going to put it up again because I, the reason why I went back into the garage is my wife was like, look, it's getting really dirty and ugly looking. So... <laughs> You're gonna have to put this up. It's just you can't just keep it up, especially when friends come over and whatnot. Like you, you can't just keep this. So I took it out of the garage the other day, and I was like, "Well, is there maybe I could I could clean this? Maybe I could." So I went online and I looked up. First of all, I looked up uh, how to clean mouse pads, like computer mouse pads, and they said, that "Take a mouse pad, get some soap, like dish soap, get a little scrub, and and then scrub it uh, with a little bit of warm water. Scrub it, scrub it, scrub it." And then just clean it, and you're done. However, a lot of the a lot of the things that were the dirt that's considered to be dirt on a mouse pad would be basically from from oil from the hand here a little bit. And I mean, some person said some some Cheetos or something. I guess people eat Cheetos when they're sitting on their computer, which is fine. But this is a lot more heavy duty. If you look at it, you know, there's like thick crayons and chocolate and muffins and all kinds of stuff. The kids were playing on this. Which is cool, uh, that's what I wanted in the end. They could take their, their toys and whatnot and play on the board. It, like I said, it's still exposure to this particular board. But the question arises now then, you know, because <clears throat> you can get one of these boards for, I think about um, maybe 10 bucks, one of these. And you can get this one for probably maybe 15, $15, 20 max, a brand new one. You get a brand new board like this for twenty dollars. So does it make sense for you to even have to go out and clean it? Like if if I'm gonna clean it and I'm going to probably my biggest concern is that between the the backside, which is the the rubberized material, and the actual board, we probably have some kind of a glue. We're not gonna have some stitching. I'm sure there's some kind of a thin, multi-purpose glue, some kind of waterproof glue. So if I take this underwater and I and I haven't done so yet, if I take this under hot water, is the glue going to start disintegrating? And if I apply like a, a sponge or a brush to this, am I going to, to see that I'm going to start breaking through the, the top layer or getting scratches and stuff? That's not what I want. So that leaves me with, I actually thought about a couple of things. Uh, just the other day, I thought about maybe getting like one of those deep carpet cleaning solutions, applying it and maybe letting it just basically chemically take out all the stains and everything, but um, I tried it on something else, uh, one of their one of their little couches, one of their little kids' couches, and, and I didn't turn out so well because it just didn't take out the stain as, as I'd hoped. So I guess I'm just gonna take the approach of, of utilizing, you know, warm water with some soap and, and some kind of a, like a gentle brush and see if I can get some of this stuff. But ultimately, like I said, probably for 15, 20 bucks, you can just get a brand new one. But it's just that I've had this for so long, like I don't feel like I wanna, um, you know, I wanna get a new one. And if I'm going to get a new one, I'd still like to have the old one for the kids because I know that the longer I leave it out, the more the more crumbs and the more more crap is gonna be on it. And I mean, I still like to have it as just kind of like an exposure to for them. So I'm gonna give it a try. I'm just gonna take it to the bath and I'm gonna see if I can wash this thing and, and see what kind of results we can get. Okay, let me take a sh closer look to this and you guys will see the the uh, the spots and everything on this. Alrighty, so as you can see here, I hope things are in focus, but these here are, I think, uh, they're like chocolate muffins or something. So a lot of, a lot of dirty fingers just kind of playing at this. This big thing is some kind of a, a pencil or a crown. I think it's more of a... Right, actually, it all more more looks like a marker, so that that might be a troublesome spot for me to clean. More dirt and muffins. Um, a lot of heavy duty stains. I don't know. This looks like possibly some kind of a liquid. Um, more muffin juices of all kinds of juices and stuff. 
this must have been a, a, some kind of a marker, or, or no, a crown or, or something like that. So, like I said, definitely a really nice snare, it's more staining. So we're gonna see if we can eliminate all these, all these spots. One by one, we'll come back to them and see how effective we were with just a warm, warm water and, and uh, soap. Let me go ahead. I wanna go ahead and kinda zoom in on this here. I'll show you guys the difference in, in thickness of the two boards. I know it's kind of hard to see here, but I just wanted to kind of zoom in right here to show the the thickness differences between the two boards. This the mouse pad has a substantial thickness compared to the to the vinyl board. The vinyl board almost is like one, one third, probably I'd say one third the thickness of the of the. Uh, there we go. So so definitely the vinyl board is going to be very thin. Also, the, the mouse pad board is a lot heavier than the vinyl board, a lot heavier. I mean, as much as I like the new, the new blue color here, I still am a lot more comfortable with the green. I feel like the green is just a lot more pleasant. And then we're just so used to the, with the green being the tournament color that the blue just kind of looks a little bit different. I am thinking about cleaning this board up as much as I can, but then still going online and just getting a new one of these and I'm gonna throw you guys a link below to see if you wanted to get a board like that you're, you're gonna be more than welcome to get one and if you do get a board like this please let me know in the comments if you're pleased with it if you like it um, I've seen some prices for like uh, eight nine dollars for it but I believe I got this one a little bit more expensive so I think it was around probably under 20 bucks so anyways, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can go clean this and then, then I'll come back and sh show you guys the uh, the difference. Clean and uh, pure and clear dish soap. No unnecessary ingredients. I don't know. This is what we usually use to wash dishes in the sink. So you definitely don't want to use something super abrasive. Uh, this one's probably as abrasive as I'm going to go. So something like this, a dish sponge. Uh, this one's a lot like... We have these sponges, they're a lot less abrasive. So I'm gonna try this too and we'll see what happens. So here we go, we're gonna just apply a bunch of a bunch of this dish soap everywhere. There we go. Copious amounts of dish soap. Hopefully the uh, um, glue is not gonna disintegrate a little bit of water. Let's get a little bit of water in here and go for it. That's about it. I don't need, I don't need a whole lot. So there we go. After washing it in, with soap and warm water, we were able to get rid of a lot of stains. Now if we look closer, um, like for example, around here you might still be able to see some kind of a yellowing, yellowish stains, I don't know where that's from. Um, but uh, we got rid of the, we got rid of the, the marker, which was great. And then for the most part, we were able to bring back the color really nicely. Now you can see right over here, some of the, some of the color, colors have faded, I guess. They, either faded because of what was on them before or maybe they faded slightly after I've cleaned them but I don't see any tears anywhere on the board where I would say hey man because of my aggressive cleaning that I tore through the through the board layer no none of that seems to have happened um, is this board still usable as far as taking it to tournaments yeah I feel like it is Nobody's going to be like, hey, look at that giant chocolate stain here or there. So it's it's looking pretty good. Much better than it did before. Am I going to use it if I go to tournaments from now on? No, I'll probably just keep it for the kids. Um, they can play with it as they did before and just kind of enjoy having it on the table. It definitely looks a lot better now. But my idea to be able to clean a mouse pad board like this was to just basically show you guys that yes you can have staining on it like if you ate something you had dirty fingers and you smudged something that you could clean your board without having to get a new one and this was a prime example because i had a lot of different stains as you guys saw before and i was able to just get it under some warm water with some dish soap and 
get a lot of these stains out. Did I get everything out? No, no, but you should not be afraid that if you're gonna get a mouse pad board like this that you're gonna have problems with. Because everybody knows that boards like this, because of their material, you can definitely like spill whatever you want to spill on them and it's kind of like almost like leather you know you just wipe it off with a with the uh, uh you know a rag or or a wipe and and that's it for you're done whereas this some people might be a little concerned where you know it's an actual cloth like material so there people out there might be concerned hey if i spill some wine on it if i you know <laughs> i don't know if people out there are drinking wine playing chess but it's a possibility but if you spill something on it coffee whatever is it going to be, you know, even a worthwhile investment if you know you spill something on it? But I feel like it is. See, so it's going to be not super hard to be able to clean one of these. Alrighty, so thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you found this video to be a useful. Like I said, if I'm... In fact, what, what I'm probably going to end up doing is that after I finish editing this video, I might just go online and see if I can order me another one of these because I really like these mouse pads. Like, I really like the, the thickness of them. I really like how they feel. Like, when you run your hands across them, they just feel a lot better than, like, this. This kind of has a... It's not bad. I mean, I've played on these uh, for many, many occasions. But this just feels a little bit better overall. So, it, it might cost a few extra dollars. But I feel like the mouse pad might be the better choice for a lot of people out there. Um, thanks for watching uh, this video. I know it might have been a little bit dragged out, but... If you have any comments with regards to what type of chess board you prefer, whether it's the vinyl, whether it's like silicone or mouse pad, or if you just like to play on wooden boards altogether, let me know uh, in the comments below, and I'll be I'll be happy to respond and read all your comments. Anyways, thanks guys for watching once again, and until next time, see you guys later.